The University of North Dakota is investigating a couple of white students after they allegedly locked a black female student out of her dorm room and then took her phone and used her Snapchat profile in order to post this following image. It shows the students in question with the caption, lock the black bitch out. Now, the girl didn't even know that they had done this on her Snapchat account until her friends had notified her about it. And one of her friends even posted about this on Facebook. She said the following, my friend left her phone in her room and the three kids pictured below took her phone and took the Snapchat picture below. They captioned it, lock the black bitch out. My friend was not aware that they had done this and didn't even realize they had put this on her Snapchat story until another friend of ours pointed it out. So. Now the administrators are investigating this and they're trying to figure out what happens. And some of you might think, hey, this isn't that big of a deal. It's not a, not a big story. But it's a little idea of what some people in society have to go through in a place that's not supposed to be harmful to them, in a place that's supposed to be for learning, for fun, for growing. And they're being treated as if they're second class citizens that deserve to have their property taken while being locked out of their dorm rooms. Okay, so. The other day I'm walking in the street and a young white girl uh, gets frustrated at an older white man uh, who is crossing very slowly. Not in, They're both in cars, but mm -hmm. he's worked at a snail pace. I get why she was frustrated. She yells at it, hey, move it, N-word. To the or, white guy? To the white guy. Interesting. Okay. You know why? And I, that's why I wanted to come and do a post game about it for the members and stuff. It's, look, I get it. The ship has sailed. I know we. I think we can unship it, to unsail it, or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so, don't use that word. It's there's complications. It's yada yada, right? But I know that in reality, a lot of young people use it, and they use it in a lot of different contexts, right? Mm -hmm. And there, she didn't mean anything racial by it, whatever, right? But you see, in this case, and but they always say like nobody ever means anything racial by it. Mm. That's not really true. Because I mean, in, in this case, yeah. they didn't use the N word. They, they just said, said black bitch. So is that not racial? I'm pretty sure that's racial when you say that black bitch. <laughs> so look, guys, well, yes, they're not politicians. This was not a US ambassador. This was not the head of their university. I get it. But what we're trying to do is point out to you that maybe your experience is not everybody else's experience. Maybe you don't experience racism. Hey, look, I, you know, I, I grew up Muslim, but I didn't get any discrimination when I was growing up. Partly because mm -hmm. I looked like the Italians that I grew up with in Jersey. Uh, I had an indecipherable name. Mm -hmm. Okay, nobody knows how to even say Jank Uger. So I didn't, I didn't experience it. So great for me. That doesn't mean, as my son would say, lucky me. <laughs> okay, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. It doesn't mean it didn't exist for other Muslims or other Turks or whoever. It doesn't mean that it didn't exist for other minorities. Yeah. Right. And if you're white and you never experienced racism, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So in this case, here's yet another instance. So when African Americans on college campuses go, hey, can I catch a break here? You know, and, yeah. and they say, hey, this sim seems racial to me. A lot of people go, oh, you guys are always thinking it's racial. Yeah. You know why? Because sometimes it's racial. I remember a few months ago we did a story about um, a black female student who got accepted into an Ivy League school and then she like not only dropped out, she just kind of ran away from her life and she just started living in Brooklyn and she pursued um, the arts and you know wanted to live her life in a different way and one of her arguments was, I felt so out of place in that Ivy League school, I felt like I didn't belong. And a lot of people had a hard time understanding what it was. They thought she was being selfish and she was, you know, being a baby and this and that. But other people's experiences might not relate to your own experiences, right? Like I've mm. never had to deal with anyone telling me, you know, oh, I, I, I locked that white bitch out of her dorm room or whatever, mm. you know what I like. Just put yourself in other people's shoes. Just because we've elected a black president and just because on paper black people and white people have the same rights, it doesn't mean that those rights are really carried out the same way or equally. If you're upset with mainstream media, we have the alternative for you. Come build independent media with us. Your membership powers the Young Turks. tytnetwork.com slash join.